Hey guys, in today's vlog, I'm gonna be sharing with you five mega tips to help you film better quality vlog content using just your iPhone. Now this is gonna get a little bit trippy today because I'm filming just on my iPhone, no DSLR, no fancy mic, no studio lighting. I'm actually stood beside a window right now just to get some natural lighting because it's a great way to make your vlogs look better. But here's the crazy thing about this vlog. This vlog content has been uploaded to a course I'm building on how to build your very first vlog series. You actually get this content to edit so you can put all of these skills into practice before you even have to start vlogging yourself. How about that? Now, before we go, I'm just gonna get some B-roll of The Office, and I wanna explain to you what B-roll is. So B-roll is secondary footage on your vlog, so A-roll is like this, me talking to the camera. B-roll are those secondary shots you see of people traveling or what they're doing. It's things without audio, as in you're not talking to the camera, you might put some music with it, you might speed things up, slow things down, and it helps to tell the story. So for the purposes of B-roll for this vlog, we're gonna tidy the office up because one of the first tips I wanna give you, and this isn't the top five mega tips, this is just a general bonus tip, is be aware of your surroundings, be aware of what's going on in the background as you're filming. So I've purposefully left my desk the way it was before I picked up my camera, and I'm gonna show you how I would B-roll tidying up. It sounds like such a boring activity, but everything is vloggable, and you can quote that. Okay, now this might be a bit weird because normally I'd cut to B-roll now and you'd see me tidying up, but I also wanna explain as I go what I'm doing. So I'm gonna end this recording. This is me talking to the camera, telling you the story, narrating the story, if you will. And then I'm just gonna find some places, like little shelving spaces, prop it up against my laptop. I'm gonna put the iPhone in different places as I tidy up so I can capture lots of what I call B-roll. But all of the footage you're seeing where I'm talking like this, it is all on the iPhone because I want you to see the quality that is possible without any fancy pants equipment. So let's do this now. I'm gonna find some little spots around the office, lean the camera up against it as I tidy things away, and then you can piece that together as B-roll. A little bit like this. Okay, so here's my first tip for getting mega vlog content using your iPhone. And this is a little bit of a sneaky one. The first mega tip is live a good life. Now, Alice is gonna laugh because she says this to me all the time, but there's only so many ways you can refilm and refilm different shots of your office or your home. So book coffee in with friends, book different things, go on bike rides, go to the beach, go on adventures. It doesn't have to cost you a lot of money. You can go on a picnic or you could go around town. Just get different backgrounds, different scenes, different places, different backdrops almost to tell your stories. So right now we're in the car, we're going for coffee with a friend. This is really impromptu, but this is the kind of life we want to live. So we're going to the view and it's got beautiful sea views across Tymouth perfect place to capture some vlog content. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've told the story now, first thing I'm gonna do is capture some B-roll of the building. Outside, inside, coffee being poured, meeting the friend. That's what brings a vlog to life. Okay, sound quality can be a real issue if you're vlogging in a cafe or a restaurant or a bar. So don't try and tell your story in the cafe, just doing it now to demo. Instead, use that space to get your B-roll, like footage of your coffee being made or your food arriving, like this.
Little tip for you here, don't vlog outside on your iPhone. Listen to that wind interference, not good. My next tip is twofold. First part of the tip is always look into the lens of your iPhone. Looking into the lens means I'm making direct eye contact with you. It's a little intense, I know. But if I look at myself in the reflection, it's such a different experience. It's so subtle, but you'll always know somebody who just started vlogging because they're watching themselves, they're playing with their hair. But if I'm looking at you, we've got a much better one-to-one -one connection. Can you feel that? Okay, second part of this tip is to invest in some kind of stand. You can definitely prop your iPhone about around the house using trainers to pop it up or wallets or cups or whatever you've got. But how much easier would it be if you could just pop it in a stand and then you can capture footage of you walking, hanging your jacket up like I've just done. A stand like the one I'm using here costs something like 20, 25 pounds. Just Google iPhone stand. Whatever your iPhone is, iPhone 6, iPhone 10, just Google iPhone stand. You'll see they cost 20, 30 quid. Order one. It will give you so much more flexibility in terms of the shots you capture. All right, my next tip is to get a mix of shots. And you can make your vlog look so artistic just by being creative with the shots that you get. So with your phone, for example, you could see a typical scene like a coffee shop and you could get shots of the milk being poured. You can get shots of the lighting. But instead of just looking at the lighting and panning across it, zoom right in and confuse the viewer as to what they're looking at. Focus on the shapes and the symmetry and the beautiful lines of what you're filming, not just the item that you're filming. shot that's hard for people to focus on why not film something in the foreground so people can see the foreground moving and they're looking beyond they still get a feeling of being at the beach being in nature but now they've got something to focus their attention on something that gives a bit of depth and interest it just adds so much spice and makes it a much better shot on your iPhone and get shots like this. Or you can film in slow-mo. And all of these options are right there in your iPhone options. When you open up video and you select how you want to film, you can select standard film or you can select time-lapse or you can select slow-mo. Just gives you more options when it comes to edit. You can have a lot more fun and it's much better for the viewer. So the big tip here is mix up your shots and B-roll is such a good way to elevate your game when you're shooting videos, vlogs on your iPhone and getting different shots just mm, takes it to the next level. Now, by the way, if you're on the vlogging course and you're editing this vlog, you'll notice I've made loads of mistakes in putting this little clip together. This is how I vlog. I just go for it. I don't stop and restart. It makes it much easier when you put it into the timeline. You haven't got a hundred different videos. You've got one video. Just chop the mistakes out and practice pairing them together to make it look as natural as you can. Okay, last tip I just want to give you to finish up today's vlog on how to make better vlogs using your iPhone is to use natural light. Now it's about four or five o'clock it's a really dark day outside it's completely pitch black in this office okay it's not pitch black but I've turned off all the lights now just by using the natural light of the window behind me I'm able to cast light on my face and the background is in shadow it makes for a much better shot and I'll prove it just by spinning around this is with the light beside me now not as good the shadow on my face there's no differentiation between me and the background and I spin around again and put the light behind me even worse. So look at the difference. This is with the light from the window on my face, dark background. <laughs> Hope I don't make you dizzy doing this. And then this is with the light behind me, no light on my face. So if you're filming at home, just make sure you take a second, look where the natural light is coming from and face that natural light. Let that light pour on your face. It will lift the whole energy of the video. 
That's a wrap. Five mega ways to dramatically improve your iPhone filming with very little investment. Give them a go. And if you can, if you do anything with this, post a link to your vlog below and I will watch it. I can't wait to see it. See you later, guys. That's it. If you love this vlog, don't forget to like, hit subscribe. And if you really loved it and you want to give some of this a go, I've just added a link to a brand new course I filmed called How to Film Your Very First Vlog Series Using Just Your iPhone and iMovie. Now I've got a very cheeky puppy behind me. I think it's time to go and play. See you later, guys. <laughs> Sasha, that was good timing. Are you ready?